one of the conclusions of all of this is actually a different name that, that this law also gets is the law of inertia. The law of inertia. Okay, so what is inertia? Inertia is simply an object's resistance to change in its motion. So we know that an object at rest, not moving, okay, velocity equal to zero, will stay at rest, and an object in motion, okay, is something in motion, velocity equal to something, will stay at that uniform velocity unless an external force acts on it. Which means that an object that's at rest wants to stay at rest and an object in motion wants to stay at that uniform motion unless a force acts on it. And when a force does act on it, it has a resistance against that force. So a very good example of this is that when a car pulls away, if you imagine this person sitting in a car, that is suddenly accelerating, what happens? Well, his head gets jerked back, isn't it? Chilly. Everything would get jerked back if it wasn't for the seat. Okay, the seat is quite solid. But actually, once I was standing in a robot, there I was, just waiting for the light to turn green. Okay, when a car rammed into, my, into the back of my car. Okay, so there's this car. Car came and rammed into the back of my car. And because of the sudden change in my motion, that force was so strong that my seat actually broke. Okay, my whole upper body had such a resistance against that force that it completely broke my seat. That sucked. Okay. And then when I fixed my seat, I fixed it too straight up, so now I look very odd. Okay. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that initially everything was at rest. Everything in this car was at rest. And then when all of a sudden the motion changes, everything still wants to be at rest. But things are starting to move. So things are kind of dragging behind in order to try and catch up with the sudden change in motion. The same goes for someone maybe standing in a bus. Okay, so imagine here's some guy standing in a, in a bus holding on to a rating. Okay. And all of a sudden this bus stops. What happens? Well, it almost seems like he falls forward. Why? Because the person was in motion. He was traveling along with the bus in the direction that the bus was traveling. If the bus all of a sudden stops, his own body, his head, his upper body, even his feet somewhat, and his suitcase, everything was still in motion and resisted the change of the sudden stop and therefore everything falls forward. Because according to Newton, Things in motion wants to stay in motion. Things at rest wants to stay at rest. There's a bunch of examples. Another very good example is if you imagine your shoe being full of dirt. Okay. That's the bottom of your shoe. I know it almost looks like a stake, but imagine that the bottom of your shoe, this will help. Okay, that's the bottom of your shoe. It's full of dirt. So what do you do? You stomp it on the ground. Once you stomp your shoe on the ground, your foot has a downward motion. But hitting the ground stops that motion almost immediately. The dirt on your foot has a downward motion. With the sudden stop that the floor provides to your foot, the dirt is still heading downwards. Okay, That is why they are shaken off of your shoes. They're still heading down. Makes intuitive sense, at least to me. Okay, one more example. Okay, this example involves a car. Okay, so there's a car seen from the top. Okay. Okay. 
and what this car is doing is it is going to take a turn okay but it's going to do it quite fast so it's taking the turn but quite at quite a speed so it's changing its direction quite quickly and what happens to the people inside the car well everyone inside this, the car starts leaning towards the outside of this curve okay so they're almost being thrown to the right of this car because it's turning left why because they were actually still in motion going straight so when the car is turning uh, on this angle okay there you can see the car not as pretty as my first attempt okay but there you see the car when the car is turning they still want to be going straight and because they want to be going straight and na but now the right side of the car is what is in that direction they'll be heading to the right side of this car well I hope you got that okay uh, maybe you didn't not the worst thing all you need to know is that when an ab object is traveling straight and there are other objects attached to it in the same direction okay traveling with it and that object suddenly changes inertia is the effect of those objects that still want to be going straight and because the thing is turning it seems like they are moving in the opposite direction of the turn uh, but they're not really they're just actually still trying to go straight it's not the opposite direction it's not that direction to be honest okay but I'm sure you're getting it and I'm sure you, you understand what I, inertia is and you actually can give a few examples cool see you in the next video where we are looking at Newton's second law of motion